Hey guys, welcome back to another War Dragons video. In today's video, I had nothing but Gunner. I did about nine minutes of flying for him for different bases, good, bad, defenders, no defenders. Um, I used him mostly only in the early Harbringer. So basically towers that were 70 with any sort of like decent gear, he had a lot of trouble with. Um, so I tried to choose bases that even show like the bad. What I learned with Gunner is he's gonna be a better backup than a lead. Um, he's based off of pure power. So better your gear, better he does. That's a lot of dragons, but there's not a lot of finesse to him. Um, yeah, putting the marks on the monuments beforehand, that kind of stuff is the good and the bad. Uh, those are the kind of things you have to do with him. Um, his spell set is not bad at all. It just is not a leading spell set with defenders. Um, he's going to run out of shots real quick trying to stop all the super shots coming at him against a defender, which, you know, it's, it is what it is. A lot of dragons aren't meant to be leads. He's not going to be one of them. I think he can be a strong backer with decent gear um, against bases that are in his range. If you hit too high out, outside of his range, he's going to be able to get spammed with repairs and not be able to take down bases. Uh, I, I actually really enjoy flying him. I, th I think he's decent. It's a new concept to freeze everything you shoot. It's kind of cool, but as I say, it feels a little powerful, but then you go against, you know, a base with a blue and a storm and some flax on a long, and you run out of shots, and then you kind of sit there going, I don't know what to do. I probably should have killed the blue and cloaked, but I didn't because I'm stubborn. That kind of thing happens. Um, he can lead to the point where he's just going to leave towers fully there. Uh, if you can kill the blue and cloak, I, he struggles on longs more than anything. Just because of shots. Mm. Not a lot of fun, though. He's going to be a strong backer, like I said, though. Use him as backup. That ice can stop all super shots. So if, like, say, you know, you're on a good base in a war, the backer left you a whole bunch of, like, sanded, vine, blah, 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 he can just individually freeze each tower and shoot them down one at a time. And just keep putting that little um, renewal rune everywhere. So he'll just have enough rage to just keep blowing through things the key to him more than anything is do not shoot if you do not have the snow blind white spell active he runs out of shots really quickly as is so you don't want to shoot unless you have the power boost going it's a waste of a shot if you're shooting without it unless you just have to because you're out of rage da 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 but you know name of the game don't shoot without it just kind of like with fomar before try not to shoot without it being active um he has some similarities. It's like a Fomar mixed with an Abrian. Yeah, that, that's kind of a decent one. A Fomar mixed with an Abrian is basically what it is with a, with a freeze as a shot. Kind of cool, but, you know, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys are having a great week. And hope your week goes well on your holidays. Everybody's busy coming up. You can just like the video, subscribe to me, get your friends to subscribe. I'll try to keep pumping these out. Hope you guys have a great day.